Last year, we did a review on the JBL Bar 5.1 and thanks to you guys, we got a lot of questions like these. Now, don't you worry because I'll get back to you guys in a few more minutes because I got you. Shopee Review, we check for you. Well, 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 look what we have here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the JBL Bar 9.1 True Wireless Surround Soundbar. It retails at the price of 4,499 ringgit. But if you want to get the best deals out there, be sure to check Shopee a lot more because there will be promotions coming in from time to time. That being said, be sure to watch until the very end of the video to see whether this JBL Bar 9.1 is actually worth getting or not. The JBL Bar 9.1 soundbar is a sleek black bar with detachable satellite speakers. It has a metal top and front while its speakers are protected by a fine metal grill. Without the satellites attached, you can see their 4-pin connectors. The subwoofer of the soundbar is elevated by four plastic peg legs as its speaker is located underneath to deliver maximum bass. Its black melamine body helps to keep it slick and minimal looking. The JBL Bar 9.1 uses truly wireless satellite speakers that are made from hard plastic and metal. They can be attached to the bar or placed around the room. Their furthest edges are curved with a metal grill-like mesh to protect the speakers, which also helps to give it a slick look. Inside the box, you'll be getting a remote with two AAA batteries, a HDMI cable, power cables for subwoofer and the soundbar, wall mounts for the soundbar and satellites, and instruction manuals. Last year, I demonstrated what a 5.1 surround sound system looks like. Well, let me pull that back up real quick to give you guys a refresher. So as you all remember, this is the setup for a 5.1 surround sound system. Three speakers from the front and two speakers from the back, plus one subwoofer. To achieve a true 9.1, we will need four more speakers to be added to the system. However, for the JBL Bar 9.1, what you'll actually be getting is a 5.1.4. The 4 represents the 4 additional upfiring speakers from the soundbar and the satellites. The sound bounces off your ceiling and this results in the immersive audio experience that mimics a 9.1 surround sound system. Okay, so now you guys have seen it. Let's go ahead and place this accordingly so we get the best experience out of it. Let's go ahead and do it. There you have it. The soundbar is calibrated for this room specifically. Now, as you can see, it's a lot more simpler compared to the JBL Bar 5.1 where you actually have to set up a microphone and the soundbar will project the sound and calculate all the bouncing, right? But this time around, it's a lot easier, it's a lot faster. Now, in order for you to do that, right here, all you have to do is hold that HDMI button for a certain period of time and it will automatically calibrate. You can do this in your room, you can do this in your living room or your personal room, right? It will adjust accordingly. Okay, so while we're at the topic of the remote, let's take a look at what we have over here. So the first button I wanna highlight right here is the Atmos button, which allows you to change the levels of your Atmos feature, you know, low, high, mid, according to your liking. Right here is the bass button where you can actually adjust the bass level of your subwoofer according to your liking as well. I usually just keep it at three. And last but not least, the rear button which allows you to change the projection of the sound coming from the sound bar and also the satellite speaker. The JBL Bar 9.1 can also act as a physical hub for your gaming system and your TV. Katie, you lost your parents. Welcome home. I'm not equipped to handle this. I don't even take care of my own plants. Yeah. 
Awal-awal dalawang boss. Ang kong never die on. Ooh. Time to answer some questions. Starting off with Deepak Mohan. Hi sir, I just bought my new JBL 5.1 home theater. My detachable surround speakers turns off when I plug out of the soundbar. Please tell me what might be the reason. Will the surround speakers charge automatically when they're put back to the magnetic part of the soundbar? Red light blinks and disappear. Please reply. Yes, so the red lights might indicate that the satellite speakers are on low battery. And yes, when you dock them on the magnetic part of your soundbar, it is supposed to charge automatically. However, if the problems persist, I would recommend you to drop a visit to your JBL authorized seller over there. Okay? Now, second question from John Walter Salas. One question, bro. Can I use the subwoofer without the bar? What if the bar is not working or is damaged and need repair? Can it connect with other Bluetooth device? Hey, John, thanks for the question. Unfortunately, if it needs repair, I would recommend you to go get it repaired because the subwoofer won't be able to work without the sound bar itself. So now might be the best time to start digging for that warranty card, you know? Another question from Leonardo Jeremiah. Awesome video. Thank you. I have a potential problem that keeps me from buying this awesome setup, which is how can it be fixed if instead of having a TV, what you have is a projector throwing the image from behind the sofa. Is it possible to turn around the IDs of the channels because the main HDMI cable would have to cross the room all along otherwise? Are you able to turn the IDs around? Unfortunately, not. But this setup is actually possible provided the fact that your projector has a HDMI input and you'll be needing a longer HDMI cable. A question from Ahmad Alif Azizi. If TV only support Dolby audio used with this Dolby Atmos soundbar, can the TV utilize the Dolby Atmos soundbar? Yes, it can. Because technically speaking, even a TV without a Dolby Atmos audio can also use the Dolby Atmos feature coming with the soundbar. I hope that answers the question. The last question we have is from Mark Sale. Can you use the HDMI out arc even if your monitor is an arc just to pass through 4K video? So, to answer the first part of your question, even if your monitor is an ARC compatible, well, as long as you have a HDMI input on your monitor, it's good to go. And yes, it will pass through 4K as well. Okay, here's a quick tip for you guys, all right? If you wanna get the best experience out of this JBL Bar 9.1, I would recommend you to set your sound bar and also your satellite speakers parallel to your eye level and you'll see how much difference it will make. Now, 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 let us get into the pros and cons of the JBL Bar 9.1. Starting off with the pros, number one, it is a very bass-centric sound profile. Thanks to this beautiful subwoofer right here, you'll be expecting a really good bass coming from this beast. Number two, it can get really, really loud but it's not a bad kind of loud. Let me just give an example. So for the JBL Bar 5.1, you'll be getting sounds coming from the front, right, and left, right? However, for the JBL Bar 9.1, it actually makes you feel like you're in the bubble of sound because what you'll be getting is sounds from front, right, left, back, and the top. It puts you in a really immersive feeling. Which brings me to my third point, it also supports Dolby Atmos. So immersiveness is the name of the game. And my last point on the pros, we noticed that a lot of you commented saying that, you know, on the JBL Bar 5.1, the satellite speakers have some issues in terms of connectivity. Now, after testing this satellite speakers, we can confirm to you that it has a pretty wide range and the connections have been pretty consistent. Now, Let's get to the cons. Well, to be honest with you guys, there's nothing much about the cons other than the fact that if you're the type of person that really likes to tamper with your sound profile, you like to customize it, you won't be able to do it with this JBL Bar 9.1 due to the fact that it has very limited sound preset. Number two, it is more on the pricier end compared to the JBL Bar 5.1. Then again, if you're the kind of person that would wanna have this, I'll make it easy for you. I've included a link down below, so why don't you go ahead and click that. 
All right, now I have a question for you guys. When it comes to a home theater setup, what do you guys look for? Let me know on the comment sections down below. So that is it for today's video. If you find this video useful, don't forget to leave a like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on our future video as well. I've been your host, Bradley Tipa, signing off, and I'll see you guys soon.